Hey, how's it going, sexy felines? My name is MCIK or CJ. Welcome everybody back to another Warframe video. Today, we are going to be going in-depth on a BOTW and also talking about one of the newer weapons in the game, a new melee in particular. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about. So without further ado, felines, this is the cost assist. Alright guys, there is a lot of stuff to talk about with this weapon, so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get to the build and also talk about some of the functions it has, pros, cons, all of that beautiful stuff today. Alright, let's get right into it. The cost assist is an infested scythe. As you guys probably already know if you've been using this weapon at all, it does also transform into a sword. It's not actually titled as a sword, but when you start swinging this thing around, you'll see the visuals. It'll start turning into a sword. But don't let that fool you, it is 100% a scythe. The visuals on this thing look amazing. It looks really disgusting, but disgusting in a good way. The cost assist is going to be dealing pure corrosive damage. It doesn't have any other damage type except corrosive at base. However, that is not too bad seeing how this weapon does have potential to reach 100% status chance. So with the corrosive and another combination of your choosing, this thing will be kicking some ass. Before we get into the actual build today, I want to tell you guys a disclaimer because sometimes you guys, uh, you know, forget that this is my personal build. These are BOTWs. The whole point of this is builds of the week. I will I try to at least get a video out a week uh, talking about a build of mine, whether it be a Warframe or a weapon, and show you guys my build for my specific playstyle. So this build is going to be a little bit wacky, but I find it very fun to use. And in the end, if something's not fun to use and if this game's not fun to me, then there's really no point in playing it. So yeah, that's that's why I built it how I built it. All right, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys my modding now. So we're going to be going with the Stance Mod Stalking Fan. This seems to be the best one. The combination is great. It's really easy to pull off. So for this modding, you're going to be like, what the hell are you doing, Cole? I will explain myself in a little bit, okay? Just so you guys know, this build is not going to involve any Forma. And I know I could add some Forma to make this thing better. I felt like I didn't really need to right now. Maybe down the line, I might add one or two. But I also like not using Forma for, I'd say, less experienced players or players that don't really want to invest too much into a weapon. They want to kind of pick it up, level to 30, put a catalyst on it, and start getting some mods on it. And that's why I feel like my builds can come in handy there. I would uh, I would call them, I guess, quote-unquote, realistic builds. So that way, everyone can kind of, you know, use the build and try it out and see how it works. Which I definitely recommend you guys do. If you ever, like, see one of these builds, you want to try it out, go for it. The cost assist comes with one polarity built into it, and that is a V polarity right here. All right, without further ado, let's get into the build. So, firstly, we have Primed Pressure Point and Primed Fury. These are going to be our must-have mods. If you guys don't have these Primed versions, the regular version should work just as well. But uh, the attack speed is going to come in to play, and it's going to be very necessary to have a lot of attack speed. And I'll get into that in a little bit. So, if you have Primed Fury, I'd say go for it. The next four mods are going to be our Dual Element Stat Mods. 60% status chance on all of these, and, of course, each individual element. So our two combinations for this build is Blast and Corrosive. Seeing how Corrosive is already built into the weapon, I decided to build up Corrosive just a little bit more and add Blast because Blast will be amazing. Once again, I'll tell you guys why in a little bit. It involves the passive if you guys didn't know already. Getting that Blast proc is going to be so helpful while using this weapon. You're going to be knocking enemies on their butt. It's going to be much easier to get the job done and kill them. So for Corrosive, we went with Viral and Scourge and Voltaic Strike. These are going to give us a Corrosive combination. And for Blast, I went with Volcanic Edge and Vicious Frost. This is going to give us our Blast combination. As for the last two mods, I went with Berserker. Like I said, you're going to want the attack speed. It is at a 1.55 attack speed, and uh, that is from Primed Fury. And this will just increase it even more. And I'll tell you guys once again why the attack speed is so helpful in a little bit. Lastly, we have True Steel. And you're probably saying, Cole, what are you doing? This weapon only has a 5.0 critical chance at base. Why would you put a critical chance mod on this weapon? I will tell you why in a second, but trust me, I'm going to use this. Swinging around the weapon normally, you won't be seeing the crits at all. This won't be affecting normal swings at all with this weapon. However, for the passive, that's a different story. Anyway, yeah guys, this is the modding for the cost assist. So with the modding that I have, these are the stats. Corrosive damage is going to be at 411.4 damage. Blast is going to be 224.4. Status will be 100%. The critical multiplier will still be at 2.0. Critical chance will be 8.0. And trust me, that'll be very helpful. And the attack speed will be 1.55. And of course, that is without Berserker. Once you get the criticals, you'll be able to increase the attack speed. And you're probably saying, Cole, how are we going to get criticals when this thing has an 8.0 critical chance? Well, that's what I'm about to get into. The cost assist has a special passive built into the weapon. You guys know the infested MOAs? Well, the cost assist is very similar as to how that works. When you have this weapon equipped, and I mean fully equipped, holding down F or whatever your key is for equipped in your melee, and you do a charge attack, 
when you release it, it's going to release a wave of acid, and it's also going to leave behind a trail of corrosive sludge. The corrosive sludge is super helpful. It's going to keep enemies stunned, but you will have to use this quite a bit. Now, the initial hit from this charge attack, and I'm not talking about the hit from the weapon. I'm talking about the hit from the wave. That is going to do a ton of criticals. That is going to do a ton of critical damage. And you will even see it. I'm going to show you guys here in a second. And it's very strange because this weapon only has a 5.0 critical chance. But when you're using this charged attack and it hits an enemy dead on with the wave, it will. you will see crits. I can assure you that. So getting this thing up to a 8.0 critical chance is very good. And you can definitely see the difference when going up against high level enemies. All right guys, I told you guys the stats, the build, and showed you all that great stuff and told you about the passive. Now we're gonna use this and show you guys how this works in game. We're gonna start this off by spawning in one corrupted heavy gunner, level 125, and we're gonna see how long it takes to kill him without using the passive. We're gonna use the basic attacking with the stalking fan stance mod. All right, here we go. We're just, hopefully we'll get the proc, and there it is. There's the first corrosive proc, and he's on the ground from the blast proc. All right, I saw some criticals here and there. Berserker's going, taking effect. The attack speed's getting a lot faster, and he's completely 100% stunned from the blast procs. And there we go. Level 120, that is kinky as shit, sorry. <laughs> Corrupted Heavy Gunner, level 125, gone in about, hmm, let's say 10 seconds, maybe 8. Now we're going to spawn in one more once again, and this time we're going to use the passive. Before we use this on an enemy, I'm going to show you guys how it works and uh, show you guys uh, what it looks like. So when you charge it up and release it, it's going to send up a little bit of wave. So this wave is going to travel basically wherever you are aiming, and then and everything below that, wherever it goes, is going to leave a corrosive sludge, basically dealing corrosive damage over time. All right, so here we go. As you can see, it traveled all the way down there and left the toxic sludge everywhere it went. Granted, it does not stay up that long. It only stays up for about three seconds, maybe four seconds. But honestly, through that time, you can deal a ton of damage. And the majority of the damage is going to be coming from the initial hit from the wave, the front of the wave. Kind of hard to see because of the glow, but here, let's see if I can get a better view of it. There it goes, and yeah, that's where it ends. One last thing I want to say about the passive before I use it on an enemy is that it can travel through walls. Uh, as you guys can see right here, I'm shooting it through the wall, and it just keeps going. So it that is fantastic. You can use this through walls and uh, stay behind cover while also dealing a good bit of corrosive damage and also tons of criticals. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to use this on a heavy gunner. 125, one corrupted heavy gunner. Let's do this. All right, here we go. We're going to use it through the wall just so it makes it a little bit easier. We're also going to use Banshee's Silence. All right, there we go. First one hit him. We're going to keep throwing these things down on top of him and uh, look at those criticals. That is what I'm talking about. And done. Dunzel Washington. I'm not sure if you guys saw the criticals, but yeah. The criticals only come whenever you're using the passive, whenever you're charged up and release it, which is very strange, but I'm not going to complain. It is amazing. One more test before I end the BOTW off. We're going to spawn in eight Corrupted Heavy Gunners and see if we can take them all out just as a little bit of a challenge because, you know, I want to end it off on a, on a light note. All right. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yep. They all got procced down there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the criticals. Look at that. Look at those criticals, man. Just insane. They are almost all dead. Oh my god. Holy crap. Sorry. Still amuses me. It really does. It's it's an amazing passive and probably it's what makes this weapon so much fun to use. And I really would not have expected it from this weapon. I did not. I really was not expecting that when I saw this weapon. I was like, you know, hey, Scythe are pretty fun. And uh, now I've seen how really good this weapon is. We almost got them all killed. We just got a couple more left. Left and right. Left and right all the time. And those criticals, man. Oh my god. There we go, left and right and left and right. You can keep them in a, a constant stun. Anyway, guys, that's going to about do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's and this week's BOTW Builds of the Week, the worst show on the internet. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the build. Feel free to use it and tell me what you guys think. Other than that, have an awesome day. Subscribe today to join the feline pack if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day or night. Stay sexy and tight, but not too tight. Rub that shit, it's gone, bitch. Grab it, dick, it's yours, bitch. Rub that shit, it's gone, bitch. Grab it, dick, it's yours, bitch. Turn around, bitch. Put that ass on a nigga. Grind on the dick, nigga.